Hey, 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 hey. Oh, shit. Yeah, people are in here. Yeah, his body's ready. He's fucking getting yelled at. It's fun. Oh, hey, Caleb. No, I deleted that image. I just deleted that. Gotta fix these, uh... Got a lot of shit going on on my Twitch here. Wait, no, we need we need real music here, Nintendo. Don't touch me, nigga! You might burn yourself. 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 Don't touch
see all you know we only come to rattle the building and break it on down Just a little once again, no we'll be holding up Until I'm gonna keep the dice rolling and keep the position on the way I keep the money falling while you're slacking on your Mac And you'll be always keep it going Right to the left, you're right to the left Now I can stop doing what I'm doing Like make the game fizzle and I pull out the skillet Yeah, put it looking, I'm a wildin' niggas running When I'm gonna bring the hook and thugs like squirrelin' Every time you get the look, you got a wildin' overseas All the way back to go, well clicked Got it ready to spaz, cause we bring the best enough Shake it, shut it down on the regular That's what the fly is, nigga, that was different than the president I'm gonna get banned off Twitch somehow for this. Oh god, no. Golden Chocobo will be pre order DLC. You know, for as much as we hate Final Fantasy VII, we know everything about it, and that's upsetting. Oh, shit, yeah, Facebook tying games are definitely going to be a real thing. I don't doubt it. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kinda odd. No walking from the dog, no smoke. And mama cooked the breakfast with no fault. I got my grub on, but ditch dig out. Finally got a call from a girl I wanna dig out. Booked it up for later as I hit the door. You're fired, Eric. Another 24. I gotta go, cause I got me a drop top. And if I hit the switch, I can make the ass drop. Had to stop at a red light. Looking in my mirror, not a jacker in sight. And everything is alright. I got a beat from Kim, and she could do it all night. Called up the homies, and I'm asking y'all, which part? Are y'all playing basketball? Get me on the court and I'm troubled. Last week, messed around and got a triple double. Freaking brothers every way, like MJ. I can't believe today was a good day. Oh, shit. <clears throat> huh. I can't believe today was a good day. A good day. A good day. Roll to the pad and hit the shower. Didn't even get no static from the coward. Cause that yesterday, them fools tried to blast me. Saw the police and they roll right past me. No flexing. Didn't even look in a brother's direction as I ran the intersection. With the show dog's house, they was watching your TV rats. What's the hat from the traps? Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. Roll them in a circle of homies and watch me break them with the seven. Seven eleven, seven eleven, seven even back those little chuck. I picked up the cash truck. Then we play golf, and I'm yelling domino. Plus nobody I know got killed South Central LA. Today was a good day. A good day. A good day. Reggie can only save the shit show. What are you talking about? 
But you have to understand it. <clears throat> Calling it now that they're gonna talk about that Animal Crossing like preview card game thing that they're making for some reason. More amiibo shit. Probably Smash again because somebody cares about that somewhere. Uh, uh, hopefully, Pokémon Fighter. I'd be excited about that. They're not talking about Zelda. That's confirmed. That's gonna be next year. Uh, Star Fox will be here this year. That weird robot game, maybe from last year. That was really interesting. Uh, Yarn Yoshi definitely, because that's coming out in like a month. Uh, I really can't think of anything else. Uh, Fire Emblem If Shimigami. Uh, Bravely second, probably. I, I wouldn't doubt Bravely second. Fucking Mike already watching us again. <laughs> Kelly, you with Mike or? Bravely Second might be at the Square Conference, but it is a Nintendo exclusive, so they may mention it or at least give the release date now, but not show any gameplay, or vice versa on the Square Conference. That's that's at least the prediction. Uh, probably Monster Hunter X too, and unless they're gonna wait to port that, I'm gonna stop the music because the stream's gonna actually start in a second. Same damn game. Oh, there it goes. That's Photoshop, Jesus Christ. Mr. Iwata? Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, they're uh, Muppets. We're ready to start filming the Nintendo <laughs> digital event for E3 2015. Okay, thank you. I will head directly to the stage. Jesus fucking Christ, this is scary. <laughs> Yeah, they won already. It's just, it's done. I can't put that on my uh, my report card though, or somebody will yell at me for like two days straight, make me feel bad. It's all people do anymore. Nintendo sixty two. Oh. Nintendo sixty three. Nintendo sixty four. My puppet body is ready. Oh my God, no! <laughs> Expand dong. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm here. Get out. No. Oh god, no. <laughs> Nothing more important. It's like last year when they did like the JoJo fight. <clears throat> okay, ready whenever you are, gentlemen. I just have to oh, Miyamoto has a Star Fox shirt on. My friend has just informed me. Oh, it's already Star Fox. Never mind. Nintendo furries. <laughs> oh, I hope they're fucking weird puppets in this. Oh, man.
<laughs> yeah, Nintendo won. This is this is over. Shit, they're just dropping right in. <laughs> oh. oh my god, are they puppet people? That's all I want. Oh man. Oh. Oh, yay. It's so good. My God. Look, the Kepo, I live right by the Fushimi Inari Shrine. It's amazing, there's games since I was a child. Oh, this is about foxes. I felt that I was always protected, as if it's my guardian. Because I'm a fucking weeaboo and I know what the Inari Shrine is. When I was a child. <laughs> There was a TV show about fighter planes called Thunderbirds. That inspired me to make a game that had cinematic elements. With each character having a distinct personality and their own drama. That would be reflected in the dialogue and appear in scenes like where a cool character and enemies would appear. I'm here for a job, of course. And looks like I get to have a little... When it came to talking about details regarding how to make the main characters look and feel, we talked about all sorts of types of people. But ever since I was in school, I drew comics with caricaturized humanoid animals. Thunderbirds is really fucking weird. In this game like, it scares me because it looks like Team America. Like that weird Uncanny Valley shit. I, I, I no. Then I thought, let's try making a fox the main character. We're entering Corneria City now. Oh man, new Star Fox is so good though. When there's an arch. You want to go under it. Right? That's the kind of game I wanted to make. <clears throat> Thinking about the shrine, this place is known for the row of arches. So we went with this idea to create a game where you would fly through different arches. Star Fox is a game where you use a control stick, like the one you'd find on a plane. When you fly a real plane, you need to pull back on the Yeah, I know it was a party. Right. It's just like Similarly, it bothers me. I don't like their faces. The on the game pad to look all around and feel really immersed in the game. We'd like people to play as if they are flying a real plane. It's really exciting. For Wii U with its two screens, we experimented with gameplay with ideas before this iteration of Star Fox. There were two screens that each serves a specific purpose. For example, we've tested using one screen for a more cinematic view and the other for gameplay. The oh, that's, game that's cool. The gyro, and it's a big reason we decided to make this game. No. It's a cockpit view, so it feels like you're in the cockpit like this. Do I have you to turn the fucking controller, pad. really? Oh. In the other Star Fox games, you play by controlling your plane in third person on one screen. This time, the game world is shown on the TV, and you can focus in to aim on the gamepad. By using two screens, can I just use the control stick? In third person on the TV, while shooting down at the enemies below you from the cockpit view on the gamepad. You can be really immersed in the experience, so that's something I hope people can check out. Okay, 
No, I don't mind using the gamepad and everything. It's just I don't like motion control. But now with the Wii U gamepad, I'd rather use the joystick. Things like speed up and flip around. Okay, that's neat. There's only one button to fire all the different. Yeah, Kid Icarus could have been done way better. I I don't understand why they made it that way. In like in playtesting, nobody stopped and was just like, "Yo, our arms don't work now." Transforming into a walker. That was in the Star crime Wars models too. the awake dust. But, but since that game didn't make it out, I'm glad we were able to have it appear. The R Wing transformation mechanic actually looks like it makes what? a lot of sense. There's the Landmaster. There we go. And also the Gyro Wing. Yeah, I, I remember playing Uprising in a car and puking one time, because I, I was in a tunnel. It just, it wasn't great. You can also play different stages with other vehicles, too. So I hope you'll have fun oh, shit! That looks fucking cool! Even after you clear the game. This is the best Final Fantasy VII. ...ideas from the past, but it's not a Part 4 or Part 5. It's not a remake either, so we named it Star Fox Zero this time. I love it. I wanted an Ari Shrine Fox. Zero was taken from how the kanji character looks in calligraphy. Star Fox is based off of the Japanese culture that inspired me, so I wanted people around the world to see this cool kanji character in the logo. Oh, oh, that's really good. that. Yeah. When I saw it, it that's the Raiden logo. Tail. We wrote the character with a brush and added the logo. It looks cool. Yeah, that looks really fucking rad, actually. Hi, and welcome to Nintendo's digital event for E3 2000. Square Enix is at one. It'll be directly after this, and I'll be streaming that too. I just need to find the stream before this is over. Today, having a little fun, imagining ourselves as characters in the Star Fox universe. Yeah. But that opening was more than just fun. It also represents a theme you're going to encounter consistently throughout Nintendo's experience for E3. That theme is transformation. Recently, Mr. Iwata has made several announcements on how Nintendo itself is being transformed. With expansion to universal theme parks, mobile devices, and our new dedicated game platform, codenamed NX, which we'll tell you more about in 2016. Okay. Today, our purpose is more immediate. To focus on the transformations you'll be enjoying right inside... All right, yeah, I got, I got the Twitch stream up for uh, Square 2 now. If there's a secret to the longevity of Nintendo franchises, it is transformation. We never let them stand still. There always has to be something new, something compelling. And that even applies to the game... Super Mario Brothers, which is celebrating its 30th anniversary in 2015. To say he's been transformed over the years is obvious. But along the way, he also <laughs> transformed gaming. From establishing the platforming genre on the NES to the 3D world of Super Mario 64. Later this year, Super Mario Maker will take the next step by turning the essence of game creation over to you, our fans. Now, players will become creators as you build your own Mario levels that can be shared globally with friends. No, know, hopefully a new Paper Mario would be nice. I mean, play, shit. Of course, beating your latest creation. I know you will, Finally, Reggie. Nothing in our history has transformed our franchises quite like Amiibo. Uh. As find out this week, there are more new Amiibo on the way and more games for them to inhabit. In fact, right now, let's see how Amiibo are about to show up in a totally unexpected way. Mario Dick World. So at this year's Nintendo Digital event, the team put me right to work. So I'm pleased to be here with Karthik Bala, 
from the Vicarious Vision Studio at Karthik Baller. Karthik, we've got some great news to share. Yeah, so, you know, the hallmark of the Skylanders franchise has always been deliver brand new innovation and the highest quality game experience. For the first time, we're bringing a whole new toy category to life, bringing vehicles to life this year with our new game, Skylanders Superchargers. This and is an Amiibo. Why is my vault on fire? Guest stars. So introducing turbocharged Donkey Kong and his vehicle, the Barrel Blaster. We also have Bowser. This is Hammer Slam Bowser. And oh, vehicle, oh, that's neat. Bowser is always my favorite. I don't know why people say that I look like Bowser and at times act like Bowser. No, that's fucking rad. I want fucking Mad Max Bowser. The, the various vehicles. What happens? So they have complete move sets and upgrade trees <coughs> of, um, of powers and abilities, some of which are natural, things that you would expect, like Donkey Kong throwing barrels and Bowser slamming down his hammer, but also really unexpected moves that harken back to elements. Hey, I only camped outside of one target for a Jigglypuff, and that was the give to somebody. They are beanie babies and they're retarded. Figures do. If you put the figure on a Skylander's portal, they act as a Skylander. But you can twist the base and switch it to Amiibo, and it can be used as an Amiibo in another Nintendo game. So again, these characters, these vehicles, only playable on... Oh shit, that's actually a neat way to do that. Because they're for Skylanders, but I mean, you can use them in other games. this collaboration with Nintendo... A company that is very protective of its franchises, that always likes to have total control. What was that like in terms of working with us to bring these fabulous experiences to life? Probably Such great. Big like Nintendo fanboys, and you know, I think we may have been a little too cautious at first. We wanted to have a form of Bowser where he became really big, and you know, we pitched the idea of using Giga Bowser, and, they, and, uh, and this is when the Nintendo team said. No, 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 do something different, you know, something new. And we created Magma Bowser, right. you know, who's never been seen before. And, you know, this, his, his fire breath just becomes this insane flamethrower. We, we wanted to uh, set the Koopa on fire. And, uh, and they said, use dry bones. Oh, right. And so, like, dry bones, and they said, well, here's all the material for dry bones. And it was just, you know, building on top of that. And, uh, yeah, and uh, what, you, what you have to do is go at 10 a.m. to Best Buy because nobody knows that they're open for that. Thank you so much Is that for sharing this information. Did I see and Dong? The entire week, we're going to be sharing more and more information. You and your team are going to grace us at Nintendo Treehouse Live, and there's going to be a lot more information to share. I'm super excited. Fantastic. Yeah, I kind of want Mad Max Bowser. That's really rad. I wonder what's next. No, oh, only Mario, though. Fuck. Oh, what the fuck is this? What is this? Got him. It's like a three player four. I don't know why it's three player. That's really weird. It looks like four swords a lot. It, that's the uh, Link Between Worlds engine. This could be cool. Fuck you, Jess.
Oh, that was a Bomberman outfit, I have been informed. That was amazing. Man, I should put the owner on. That would be a good choice. Zelda. <laughs> Today, I would like to talk about The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, the latest Nintendo 3DS Zelda game. I have the games to We needed to put something out because we delayed Zelda a year. I wanted to focus on multiplayer and co op. Multiplayer in past Zelda games was more competitive, much like a party game. Everyone would gather to play to see who would get the most rupees. This time, I wanted players to collaborate. I don't think that enjoy happened. more serious Legend of Zelda gameplay elements, like solving puzzles and going through dungeons. The 3D visuals of a link between worlds was a great feature. Especially in terms of depth, I like Nintendo clarifying so what footage is what. Because somebody would fucking get pissed somewhere. So that's why we came up with the totem mechanic. Sick. Co-op was fully realized with the totem mechanic. You can carry your friends on your shoulders and reach higher places. A four-player totem was too tall. So we decided three was the better choice. For single player, there are supporting doll like characters. There are two of them, and you can beat a level by switching between Link and these two dolls. The story starts in a kingdom that is just full of fashion savvy people. Oh, then, so this is a full Zelda. Something has happened, so the king is looking for a hero who could help. So, different players are each claiming to be the hero, and so it begins. That's neat. And conquering dungeons is a familiar staple from Mother Zelda games. So, it should appeal to fans of the series. This time, there's also a fashion element, where you collect items to create new outfits with new abilities. By buying and equipping these different clothes, your abilities change. So the same courses will offer different experiences depending on what you wear. see their reactions is fun too. I hope people invite others to try out the game with them as well. When playing in multiplayer, we frequently hear Mr. Alnuma yelling excitedly about the game. I have the loudest voice on the team. Yeah, it is like the job system, Jess. Holy shit. Final Fantasy 7 confirmed job system. Also for Nintendo 3DS, we have another new game. Last year we had the Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors. Okay, so this leaked already. We're now developing a 3DS version. This game is a reimagining of the Wii U game. It will include all the DLC characters from that one. Also adding additional characters and stages from the Legend of Zelda. Yeah, who gives a fuck? You plays the King of the Red Lions. the gameplay. I'm on a boat. Hyrule Warriors is not like the Zelda games I create. It is an experience only Koi Tecmo can really bring to life. Enjoy Hyrule Warriors Legends as well as The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes on Nintendo 3DS. Baller. Ooh. Ooh. Boop, 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 boop. Beep, beep, boop, boop. I want to see what it looks like in game, though. It might be weird looking. Eh, you know, it looks alright. There's, uh, 
nothing in the distance, which is weird because I'm used to that in the other one. But <sighs> oh, you can switch to people. That's that's cool. So you don't have to just be one person. You can make a team and plays the whole team. Yo, sick Tetra though. The fucking front lock. <laughs> Boat tech. I don't know what that means. the Metroid? It sounds like Metroid. It's not Metroid. Whoa, it might be Metroid, actually. Oh! 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 Oh shit, Cubix Metroid. I can dig this. I can dig this. Oh, sick Kingdom Hearts. Is that Eris, Jess? Oh, it's called Fates now. fucking Funimation voice actors, though. Okay, 2016. Yeah. Anime cutscenes, though. Oh, here we go, Jess! Can I hold all these games? Oh fuck, it's Tiki!
Oh shit, this looks rad. Please keep the Japanese though. It's... Oh. I'm glad nobody can see me twisting my. Oh! Xenoblade. Oh yeah, Xenoblade. Is that fucking Isabel? <laughs> I'm, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. What is this? Is this Animal Crossing party? Oh my god. need all of these. Oh, it's me! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Where's her sister? I love her sister. Is this a fucking Animal Crossing board game? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! in 
software planning. And Are you related to Ken Watanabe? And I am a coordinator. I work with developers in making Nintendo. Where's Kayla? I hear her screaming from somewhere. And I was in charge of designing Yoshi's Woolly World. Oh, it's so cute. Working with Tezuka-san is very inspirational. He is the leader of this project. At the same time, he has the perspectives of the player. So he has both elements, the leader and really? the player. Really? <laughs> Kenwa Tanabe is also like the, the Will Smith of Japan. I decided to make some yarn yoshi <laughs> just for fun. Because um, I'm not a programmer or an artist, so I <coughs> able to make something in the actual game. So, and the development team was really, really working hard. So I thought to myself, well, is there anything that I can do in some way to help this game? I went home and got some yarn, <laughs> and I decided to make my very first yarn Yoshi. Then I brought it back to the office. Uh, the smiles on the face of my colleagues really struck me. There was this proposal made at Nintendo saying that maybe for a game like this, um, a plushy amiibo would be more fun to have because yeah they're not wrong well with the vibe of the game and when i heard that i fell in love with that idea and decided to make more yarn yoshi prototypes yoshi himself is made of yarn the shape of his body transforms into different shapes so he turns into like a propeller when you jump and he turns into a mallet when he does the ground pound. but also the world itself is in yarn and fabrics lots of textiles we have places in the game where you can unravel and you can also knit platforms and in this game the enemies are made of yarn as well so when Yoshi swallows them they turn into little yarn balls instead of eggs well, most of all we want the game to be fun Yoshi's Woolly World provides plenty of challenge if you try to go to 100% completion but also we wanted to have lots and lots of people enjoy the game and those lots of people have different expectations this is too fucking adorable. Of, the of the game. And for us, um, what's so special about Yoshi games is that the difficulty level is all up to the player because if you just want to have fun, you can just run through the levels. If you think you're a more advanced player, you can set the challenge a little higher by collecting lots of items, and that provides plenty of challenge. Fuck. We are very confident that the game provides both the challenge and the fun. Its co-op mode is designed so that the user can decide how they want to play with their friend. So you can either cooperate with your friend, you can help each other out, you can swallow the other Yoshi, turn him into a yarn ball, and then throw it to high areas so that the other Yoshi can reach that area. So you can do a little bit of a competition with your friend, <laughs> you can be a little mean. If you have an amiibo, and if you use it in Yoshi's Woolly World, then Yoshi's design turns into that amiibo character. For example, if you have a Mario amiibo, you can get a Mario Yoshi, which is a Yoshi in Mario pattern, in Mario design. <laughs> so, so if you have an amiibo at home, maybe you can have fun trying out different characters. In this game, when we turned Fuchi into Yarn, he was really cute. <laughs> Pucci, so Jojo confirmed. <coughs> oh fuck, Pucci's so cute around. though. So he's a quite Aww. useful companion to have. So even after you clear the level, it's really fun to go back, revisit that level because there's always something that you missed out on. You always find something new. It would be great if you can collect all the items in one go, but that is quite challenging. So um, I hope people can enjoy playing the same level over and over again. Most of all, I want people to feel happy when playing this game. Yeah, it comes over for my birthday! <clears throat> oh shit, rip Pokemon, this is how Pokemon dies. This is what I was talking about the E3 at everybody. Cause you can get a Pompadour ghost dog cat. That was a Kappa back there.
There it is, Gats! Oh, shit, English stuff. This game killed Pokemon last year. It, it made Ruby and Sapphire undersell. Fucking JoJo cats. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what is this shit? Oh! Oh! Is this what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh my god, it has everything in it! Will it be better than the shitty one that came out? Is this Final Fantasy VII? No, it's not Paper Mario, it's like a bunch of Marios. <laughs> like, those were the RPG graphics from the SNES, and then there were Game Boy Advanced ones from Mar Mario Luigi Paper- HOLY DICKS! I fucking hate Mario games, but I love the RPGs. It's so hype. Oh, not tennis, though. I don't like tennis. together for 30 years now if there's three ideas presented to both of us we pick the same one as the years went on and we made more and more side scrolling games we had to create a more advanced tool to design them with this became the basis of super mario maker the tool got so good that the more we worked with it, the more we realized we could also turn it into something everyone could enjoy. With Super Mario Maker, anytime you make an edit, you can see the results right away. This instant feedback can Cats. Really help your imagination run wild. Back in the day, we had to create everything by hand. To design courses, we would actually draw them one at a time onto these sheets of graph paper. We then hand our drawings to the programmers, who would code them into a build. While digging up these old documents, we found this. It's very precious. Adorable. When we first thought of the idea of Super Mario Brothers, we had a concept of land, air, and sea. See this old sketch of Mario throwing fireballs from a moving cloud? You can now do that in Super Mario Maker. You can even control where the cloud flies. In the old days, when we needed to fix or change part of the course, it would get really messy if we tried to edit the original drawing. So we'd put this see-through paper on top to make edits. A lot of things might look familiar, but you can combine various elements from the different games to create entirely new stuff. 
like stacking different enemies on top of each other to make a huge tower and then putting a bullet. Yeah, I don't really care about Mario Maker. You can even put things we've never placed underwater. Right, there are some enemies that don't normally appear underwater, like Goombas. When you put one underwater in Super Mario Maker, it will swim like a small shrimp. When are we gonna get Mario like NFL? Mario can even take on the appearance of other characters. Tap a computer <clears throat> like Wii Fit Trainer, and Mario can turn into oh! a trainer when he gets oh! into the <laughs> It's called Costume Mario. Oh, that's kinda cool. Super Mario's 30th anniversary, we're releasing an 8-bit amiibo. When you use it, your Mario in-game is going to appear a bit bigger. The amiibo itself is pretty big too, to reflect the effect in the game. That's really neat! There's also a Super Mario Maker booklet. The booklet has a lot of sample courses. It's really fun just looking at them. As if this is what would happen... I'm running out of room on my report card for positives. These have all been positives. making a course I want, which is usually like a 2-1 or 2-2. Two, two. Once that's done, we try to make it a little easier, so we move on to making 1-1. One, one. It's always like that. I may come across as a mean person by saying this, but in 1-1, one, one, there's a Goomba, which is clearly an enemy. But there's also a super mushroom, and you might run when you first see it. You run, but there's a block above, so you can't run. So if you jump, the ceiling is low, so you usually hit it. But when you do, you grow big. It's a surprise. There are stairs, but there are gaps. But the first gap has a floor, and the second one is the one you want to avoid because it's bottomless. So it's a tutorial in a sense. We put a lot of thought into those types of things. When playing a Mario game for the first time, it's a challenge to run and jump at the same time. New players usually fall into the first pit because they can't make the jump. But they learn from it. They usually fall into it because they can't make it. It's like game design training software. Try it if you want to get into game That's design. neat, I guess. I mean, I don't think that would really help with programming. Like QA maybe, but it'd be good for QA. I'm a good course designer. Earlier I said that Nintendo's experience for E3 is all about transformation. And while oh, remind everybody, we're going to be one after the other with uh, the streams because Square is right after this. Much more to share. Next, Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 begins. We'll kick off with Mr. Miyamoto and fellow developers flying through Star Fox Zero. And if you can't wait to get your hands on Super Mario Maker, the opportunity is right in front of you. On Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., and Saturday from noon until 5 p.m. local time, you can walk into any of more than 100 Best Buy stores in the U.S. and Canada and experience the game for yourself. Oh, neat. First hand. You can find the details of all of our activities. Thanks, Best Buy. At E3 you make everything $40 for me. Com. To close, as anyone transforms, be it a person or a company, it's good to reflect on where you've been to help guide where you go next. Over the past 30 years, more than a billion people around the world have played a Nintendo game. And most of them have played as gaming's biggest star, Mario. From the music, to the costumes, to the characters, Super Mario isn't just Nintendo's mascot. There's a little piece of him, and certainly memories of his adventures inside all of us.
Blue. Oh, This is the best death group so <laughs> Get out of here, you fucking furry. <clears throat> All right, um, now it's your turn. Oh, okay, Visit still gone. Super Mario. Celebrate his 30th anniversary by submitting your own Super Mario video and do it for a good cause with Nintendo making a donation to the non profit group Operation Smile. Visit our site for details. Let's have some fun, let's support a great cause, and let's Super Mario. No, you gotta be here for Kingdom Hearts and the Final Fantasy VII remake that totally already got announced. Come on, Zest. What is after Square? I can't remember. I know, but I'm switching it over to Square now. So hang on to your butts. Yeah, we need you vomiting. That's the most important thing ever. Refresh. Okay, hang on. <coughs> oh, that doesn't look good. There we go. Okay. Twitch logo. Ah, shit. Hang on one second. Shit. 